Welcome to another episode of Japan Crate Unboxings with DPD and Lucky. Hello. I am here with the August 2021 crates right here and uh, let's get right into it. Cool. Alright, so Ooh. this is the summer crate. This is the last summer crate of 2021 for Japan crates. Before we start talking about the snacks, just want to let you guys know if you guys want some Japan crates right now, before you even watch this video, Go to japancrate.com, use code DPITY, and you save yourself $3. That's right, use code DPITY and you save yourself a whole $3. Now, let's get right into it. Let's uh, talk about the pamphlet. So each box comes with a pamphlet, like so. As you can see here, this is a summer edition. So we have like the beach episode of the Japan Crate uh, anime right here. Japan Crate anime actually doesn't exist. As of yet, but yeah, I'm just I'm just saying. Inside of the pamphlet, you have every single uh, snack that is in the box, as well as the descriptions for each one, which I am going to read as Lucky eats them and tries them out. So rates them. We are gonna be rating this month's crate five out of five. Pineapples. What? Pineapples? It's a lot of pineapple. Oh yeah, you're right. We got the little Japan Crate mascot lady holding a pineapple, so we'll rate them out of five pineapples. By the way, each month, Japan Crate picks one lucky winner to win their Sugoi Crate. What is a Sugoi Crate, you ask? Well, a Sugoi Crate is a prize box, um, and each month comes with something different. Uh, this month, you Jujutsu have... Jujutsu Kaisen! What? Jujutsu Kaisen! Oh, Jujutsu Kaisen, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you get some Jujutsu Kaisen manga. And plushies. You get some Jujutsu Kaisen plushies, some a Switch Light. Yeah, a Switch Light, a Pokemon game. When when you order Japan crates, not only do you get these wonderful snacks, you also get a chance to win their Sukhoi grates. So, anyways, let's go straight down the list here. First snack is Natsu Potato Azomino Wasabi. Ah, there you go. Why are we starting out with wasabi? We're gonna be starting out with some uh, wasabi potato chips, no! I believe. Good luck. All right, so let me read the description for you guys. Featuring potatoes harvested in Kyushu uh, with added wasabi from Azumino City in Nagano Prefecture, these thick sliced and wave cut chips are new go-to chips for the season and only available for a limited time. They look like ruffles. I'm looking like, you know, they're like the little wavy ruffly type chips. Maybe it's not spicy. Also, they look like, yeah, they look like this. They yeah, look they look like, like those. So, let's try it out. Oh, look, she's, she's eating the entire chip. It's, I'm guessing it's not that spicy. Yeah, so there, there's like two types of wasabis that I've had when I go to like Japanese restaurants. There's a really green pasty kind that... I'm, ass I'm assuming it got spicy. Uh, time out. Technical difficulties. And we're back! Yeah, so I just had one. And yeah, they're 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 covered in wasabi. I like wasabi, but just because I could eat it doesn't mean I won't say it's spicy. It is spicy. Like if you ever had that like wasabi experience where it like kind of cleanses your nose and everything, that's that's what this is. This is covered in this. I like it. I'm a fan of this, but um, you know, I'm not the one rating these. It's uh, it's lucky here. So what do you what do you what do you give it? The first chip wasn't covered in anything, and it tasted really good. And then the second one was covered. So I uh, oh. Three out of five. Okay. Next, we have the Black Sunday. Oh. What is ah. it? It looks like, is it it's a chocolate? Bar. Oh, it's, it's a, a chocolate bar. bar. Cool. It feels like the Black Thunder. Mm, maybe. All right, so a new and recent release. This bar combines Japanese classic candy, Black Thunder, with that of soft serve Sunday. Ooh, along with biscuits and cocoa cookies, cornflakes are added to accentuate the texture and taste. Okay, so Black Thunder, I Black Thunder is one of my favorite chocolate bars. I'm gonna eat half of this because I, yes, keep keep going. I'm curious on how this is this tastes. How's, how's it taste? You like cookies and cream. Mm, cookies and cream? I like cookies and cream. But I like Black Thunder better. Like it's not bad. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. I but, just prefer regular Black Thunder over this. I think the Sunday makes it a little too sweet. Um, I'd, I'd give it a four, not a five like the regular Bath Thunders because a tad too sweet, but it's very good. It's like, it's just like a, it's like a very crunchy, delightful treat of chocolate and I love it. I taste like cookies and cream. All right, next up we have the Long Chew Cider. Mm. 
So enjoy this classic taste of Japanese cider with this long chewing candy measuring at 24 centimeters. Yeah, for a second I thought it was gonna be a pixie stick, but it's not. Well, it looks it's, like some type of like hard. yeah, long, long taffy. All right, Whee. try it out. How does one eat this? Uh, I'm assuming you rip the top and then you just eat it. It does look like a taffy. Yeah. If you can see, yeah. And go. Oh yeah, it's a very hard taffy. It's ramen. -y. Oh, ramen. -y. Yeah, it didn't. It didn't say a ramen specifically. It just said Japanese cider. I'm assuming that's ramen. Ramen, yeah. Yeah, if, if taffy had a ramen flavor, that would be it. it. Cool. Five out of five. I like it. All right, five out of five for the long taffy, long chew cider. Next up, we have the fruit donut gummy. It's so tiny. So and yeah, it, it looks like one of those apple rings. Oh, apple. Trollo, 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 trollo. <laughs> Yeah, well, Trollos, uh, that, that's the brand. They come oh, with like the worms cute. and then they come yeah. with like the rings. And so, yeah, this is a gummy, like a, it looks like a sour gummy ring, which is a classic. So you see these at like, liquor stores and whatever. I'm assuming it's similar, yeah? Mm. Yeah. Uh, it's one of my favorite gummies. This bottle shaped gummy has a refreshing cola taste with a sour twist. So it's like sour cola, I guess. Would you agree? I, I'd say it's, almost, it's kind of, it's kind of fruity. Oh. I would say almost like it's more fruity than cola. Five, I like it. It's cool. really good. Next up, we have the caramel corn melon. All right, so caramel corn is a staple in the Japan uh, Japan crates uh, unboxings. Uh, they usually give us this like almost every month with a new flavor, and it makes me wonder like how many flavors of this caramel corn do they have? They have a bunch. I mean, all the flavors of the world technically, right? Yeah, I guess so. I guess we've had chocolate, green tea, uh, strawberry. Uh, Ramune, caramel corn, uh, we have, we, there's been a bunch. So this one is melon. Uh, melon. Yeah, melon. Like so, cantaloupe. Let me read the description here for you guys. Oh, that smells like cantaloupe. That does. Uh, Tohato caramel corn is known for its classic snack and their limited time flavors are a must to try. In celebration of their 50th anniversary, wow, this company has been around for 50 years, um, they've released new flavors. This melon edition uses melon puree for its dough and syrup from Hokkaido melons and is sprinkled with a melon finishing powder. Put the they put the uh, melon juice in the dough and then they sprinkle it with. Wow, you are just stuffing your face. I'll try one. Wow. That's literally melon. Wow. Anyways, like I was saying. These caramel corns, they always come with different flavors, but usually the caramel, because caramel is such a strong taste and it's so sweet, the caramel usually takes over whatever flavor, so if it's like strawberry or green tea, you taste more of the caramel and never so much the, uh, the, the, the future flavor, but this, you could barely taste the caramel. Like, you know, it's almost like the caramel... Caramel corn. Yeah, the caramel uh, corn helps, it enriches the melon flavor because the melon you could it's the cantaloupe flavor is so strong it, It's like you're eating a cantaloupe puff puff. Yeah, it was it's it was, really good it's, that I was give good. that a five as well. Five yeah, that was really good. So yeah, I'd probably eat the entire bag of that uh, uh, If I didn't stop you it looked like you were yeah. yeah next up we have the coffee chocolates She doesn't drink or eat anything coffee. Yeah, I'm not gonna eat this. I've had this before actually so uh, show the camera So basically let me read the description for you guys this package is inspired by the nostalgic Tetra Pak coffee milk. The sweets inside are coffee flavored grain chocolates. That's the perfect mini treat for yourself. Yeah, I've had, we had this before. Uh, I've eaten it. I don't think there's actual coffee inside. It could be wrong. I don't know, but uh, they're good. They taste like chocolate coffee balls. They're like little, little tiny balls that you just put in your mouth. You chew it, and, and yeah, we'll skip this. I've already tried this before. I'm gonna save this for. Later. All right. Next up, we have the Makin Cola gummies. Fun to play with and yummy to eat. Chew on yummy cola confections in the form of this hand-shaped gummy. And there's a little star. <laughs> That's yeah. That looks so weird. I don't know. Are you judging? I am the judging. Cola? I am judging wow, the gummies. Wow, I love the smell of this. There is is just uh, cola-shaped gummies. A little star. There is very tough gummy. Like it won't. It's not easily rippable, which I guess is good because. Yeah, it looks pretty tough. Try it. Is it, is it super chewy? I'm pretty good. It. So I'm assuming yeah, these are for little kids. They they come over and they play. They slap each other with it. Then they eat each other. Doesn't sound very sanitary. They eat but each other. <laughs> they eat the, the the snack after they're done playing. It looks like one of those like like slappy sticky 
The ones hands. you slap on the wall. Yeah, and they stick and you bring them back, you know? That's what it looks like, but... <gasps> no! As we were saying how tough it was, the hand breaks. Yeah, it's like stuck. Oh, the... You ripped the finger! All the fingers are broke. It gives you a thumbs up, though. <laughs> Knock yourself out. Well, how's it? How's it taste? Pretty good. I'm doing a cola gummy. Tastes like a cola gummy. Mm -hmm. All right. A five. I like cola gummies. All right. Five good. out of five cola gummies. You don't expect any more, no less, right? It's a it's a cola gummy. So, mm -hmm. all right. Next up, we have a grape gum, which we don't usually eat uh, on the show here because you know we're here to try and 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 taste test these and rate them. The gum you want to savor, chew it for the day or how many hours this, the, the flavor lasts. So They're usually pretty good. They're usually pretty good. But So yeah, we usually skip the gums. We save them. Next up, we have the Piccola Lemon. Uh, these tasty rolls are made of Lang de Chat biscuits. Bite into these yummy treats and taste the Satoshi lemons on both the sticks and in the cream cheese filling. The box contains two packs, so you can split these with a friend. Okay, cool. So apparently this is also a phone holder. Uh, a snack and phone holder. That is so you very can weird. put your phone right here, and then there's a little the place where you can pull the snacks out, so you can like watch something and then eat at the same time. Th that's okay. <laughs> Go Japan. Yeah, I'm curious. So uh, this is just like a. Uh, I'm assuming there's like uh, key lime pie or lemon lemon meringue pie. It's like a ch cheese and and lemon taste. So that's interesting. You put it like this. And then you have a little cutout right here to put your phone. Cool. Well, yeah. So if you know, if you have, if you buy this, and you're like, you know, you need a phone stand, this also comes with the. It's like a cheap phone stand that you could eat snacks with. Also, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So they're like, uh, you know, wafer rolls. You know. Ew. Oh, wait. <laughs> Ew. Does it smell funny? It's like cheese. Yeah. There's cheese in here. Cream cheese or yeah, cheese? Yeah. Cream cheese. Oh. Japan comes up with crazy flavor combination so oh oh no she lit up and then I'm like oh is that a four or five then it started like I can see the score dropping in her head I'll give this a try yeah I don't think it's that bad I don't like cream cheese I don't know it takes away from the tartiness and like if it was just cream right that's fine sweet sweet and cream go together but this I don't I don't I like it taste it's cream cheese specifically so um I get two out of five. a two yeah I you can eat those. Yeah, th th I thought I thought this was pretty good. Next up, we have the fettuccine golden apple gummies. So I already know she's gonna love this. A uh, fettuccine makes amazing, amazing gummies. They're super sweet. Uh, th um, they use uh, fruit juices, I believe, in, in their gummies. So they usually are very, very delicious. So this is pineapple flavored. What do you think? Okay. <laughs> I already knew it. I'm gonna call it. It's probably a five. What do you would? Yeah. Yeah, it's a five. It, it, how can I not make this a five out of five pineapples? It's literally pineapple. There you go. So, um, it's, it's really good. It's tart, sweet, yummy. I love the is gummies. It, it, does it taste very much like pineapple? Yeah. Okay. It's like a very candied pineapple. Okay, cool. Up next, we have the panda <laughs> ka ramune. Enjoy the taste of ramune with these cute pandas. These. Uh, the tabs with the imprint of a panda silhouette melt in your mouth, and the melting of the shuasha in the mouth expands the range of deliciousness. It broken. Oh no, it broke during shipping. It broken. You guys can see the little crack right there. It's not supposed to be a crack right there. That's a rip. Well, oh. it's like a sh it's like a shattered pendant, you know. Oh, try it out. Oh wow. Okay. Oh. Big no no. All right. Um, she, I like how excited you go. Pandas. Oh, cause everyone loves pandas, right? And all, and then panda goes in her mouth, and you're like, mm, pandas. No. So, uh, what do you give it? It tasted like chalk. It tasted like chalk. Wow. But like sweet chalk. I. Okay. I gotta give that like a one pineapple. I don't like it. One pineapple for the uh, chalk pandas, I guess. It's not even ramune pandas. Next up, we have the Umaibo lemon. Little let's happy see. guy mascot. All right, let's try it out. Let's see if you like the Umaibo lemon flavor. I think I will. You think so? Yeah. So yeah, it's very, 
intact. She's thick. Look at that. All right, take a bite. Oh, it's another one. How was the taste? Good? Yeah, just like a, like a tart. A tart, like lemon, yeah, a, like a zesty corn puff. Huh, okay. It's like a four. Four, all right. Four out of five pineapples for the lemon umaibo. Next up, we have the Doraemon strawberry cookies. Oh! Do you like Doraemon? I love Doraemon. Oh, that's cute. The strawberry cookies, huh? Yeah. They're just biscuits. I'm going to eat one. Oh, you don't eat one? You want the Doraemon one? Thank you. It doesn't matter. So yeah, they're all shaped as Doraemon and his and his pals. Let's uh, try it out. Mm. They're good. They just taste like biscuits with the hint crackers, you know? Yeah, with a hint of strawberry. Strawberry is not too strong, but you can taste it. Not bad. I think I give it like a four out of five. It's cool. Like, it's not bad. Right, we have two more things. Uh, we have the special edition Kit Kats and the soda. So Ooh. this month's uh, this month's special edition flavored Kit Kat is. Summer mango, not just mango, summer mango. Yeah. So there is the cool uh, packaging there. So let me read the description here for you guys. Uh, Nestle Japan is back again with a new Kit Kat flavor for summer only. Introducing the everlasting summer mango flavor. Enjoy the mellow sweetness of mango in the form of a Kit Kat in this bag containing 12 pieces. And each piece has two pieces, so it's 24 pieces. You look, so oh, they're melt. they're melted. They these are melted. Feel this one. Yeah, these are complete. Like, yeah, open them up and, and open these up and show well, the, the audience. Well, the packaging's really cute. It's look a little toucan. Yeah, nice a uh, bright. That's a parrot. That's a parrot. Oh um, gosh. Yeah, it's it's melted. If you if you don't know, it's been extremely hot here in Los Angeles. So, any chocolates? Uh, I yeah. Sit that, oh. For more than yeah, five it's, minutes. It looks like cheese. It's, it, it doesn't even look like a Kit Kat. You know what? The melted state of this Kit Kat will not affect the the, the flavor. I I, I don't will believe. It? No, I don't. I don't think so. All right. Let's see. Uh, and how's it taste? How's it taste? No. Chocolate and mango don't mix. I mean, For I. Whatever reason, tastes like coconut, and I don't like coconut. Huh. Okay. Well, that's. It's not coconut, it's mango, but okay, sure. Yeah, I'm actually gonna pass on this one. Very rarely do I pass on a Kit Kat, but uh, I don't think you've ever have passed on any of our Kit special Kit Kats. So. It's not a Kit Kat. I pass on that one. Oh yeah, yeah, she doesn't like the taste of alcohol. Nope. For whatever reason, it reminds me of coconut. I mean, coconut is a very summery uh, fruit, uh -huh. so maybe there was some coconut in there. Oh. I'm gonna give that like a two out of five. I actually don't really like it. Oh no. Okay, well, you know, there, there, there's gonna be a time, you know, not all Kit Kats are created equal, and so this mm -hmm. one, I guess, nope. is uh, not good. At least to her, right? If you love mango, you Maybe like chocolate, you like it. or you like coconuts, right? Because she says it tastes like coconut, you'll like it, right? So, anyways, yeah, not for you. So now we'll end the unboxing with Wow, Pepsi. It's called Pepsi Raw. So, um, pop open this can of Pepsi Cola on a hot summer's day. For the first time, salt and Japanese citrus flavors are used to enhance the original texture and sharp aftertaste of cola drinks. Can you taste the difference? Is this, does this one have? Huh? Does this one have this sharp citrus thing? Yeah, or yeah. it doesn't? This, this does. Oh. That went down too fast. It is a bit weird though because it's not ideal that this this wasn't chilled, so it wasn't refrigerated. We we drank it straight out of the box. So if it was chilled, I'm sure it would have tasted a lot Pepsi better. Pepsi Nama is cola made with including fresh spice. Spice, interesting. I mean, do you taste any difference from like regular Pepsi Cola? Yeah. Yeah, there is a difference, but it's so not that apparent, huh? No, but I, I like it. Okay. I like this, but it's it tastes lighter. Okay. It tastes lighter than regular cola, which I. Definitely would like more because cola can kind of be kind of like very heavy in the aftertaste. He has a little zang in there. Zang. Zing zang zang woo. So I like it. Yeah. I'd give it a five out of five. All right, five I'd out of five. Actually, I'd actually probably. I'm going to drink this. So five out of five uh, for the Pepsi Raw. Nah. And that does it for our summer crates. August unboxing yeah. for 
Japan Crate. Once again, if you guys want to sign up to Japan Crate, if all of this, all these snacks look enticing to you, you want to try them out, you know, you want to subscribe to Japan Crate, go to japancrate.com, use code DPITY to save yourself $3. It helps you out, helps us out, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time, next month, for another Japan Crate unboxing. Until then, I think it's the, I think September is their anniversary month, Ooh, so we'll be getting a special a, a box. Special box. Uh, yeah, and we'll see you guys next time. Yep. Bye. Bye.